Welcome back to the Professor's Dugout, everybody. I hope you are having a great day. Um, I'll, I'll just start off quickly by saying I apologize. I usually try to uh, post a couple videos during the week. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. Uh, in part due to the fact that I have several items that have been stuck at a... United States Postal Service Distribution Center a couple hours away and had, I haven't heard from them. So unfortunately that includes uh, several um, eBay purchases. Uh, I know my brother's in cards box. It's just been sitting there for almost uh, since Monday. Um, so uh, hopefully I'll get them. I'm not overly confident because I've had this happen before and usually means that um, either somebody at the Postal Service stole them or they got lost going from one post office to the next. So, um, unfortunately, it's several items, including some high dollar stuff, so I'm not super thrilled. And I'm sure the eBay sellers, once I put in the claims in a few weeks, if I don't get them, um, will not be happy, but say la vie. Um, so I went ahead and, uh, got a box of museum collection. So let's open this. Uh, you know, uh, if you've watched a little bit of this, this released, I think on Wednesday this week, um, you know, you guys basically get four hits, one on card auto an autograph relic, quad relic, and then an additional relic item. Um, Nice stuff, kind of uh, higher end premium. I paid like from my local hobby shop, Mealy Pops. I paid, uh, I think, two fifty for this box. Um, they're already up to around three hundred on like blowout, and um, it's just nuts, in my opinion. Um, you know, I remember these last year. I mean, th this week I should have been at the the national, having a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, this year due to extenuating circumstances. So um, I did get this box, but last year museum collection was going for like 200 a box. I mean, it was pretty inexpensive um, for, for something that's pretty, pretty nice looking. So it's a little bit more expensive this year, but with that, why don't we go ahead and get this open and let's see what we get. All right, let's get this open. A lot of packaging in this. And there you go. There's your four mini boxes. Each one has a hit. You can find some places that do have these. Um, each separated out. Uh, and you can buy them individually. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, just because you never know. Um, just buy a full box. All right, so here we go. Here's the first one with more packaging. Let's see what we get. Hopefully baseball continues. I'm getting a little nervous that we might not have baseball much longer, uh, given that 20% of the teams did not play last night due to cancellations due to the virus, so Steven Strasberg, a little bit of a chipped corner. There's a nice Kyle Lewis. I'm going to go ahead and just sleeve that one up. He's uh, Him and Luis Robert have been by far the best rookies so far this, this season, at least this early season. Yeah, unfortunately, these are these get to be a little bit condition sensitive. They are thicker cards, and the way they're packaged kind of leads them to be chipped. Reese Hoskins on our back, which is our copper parallel, is Robinson Cano. And what do we have for? Oh, we got a quad relic, number to ninety nine for Andrew McCutcheon. Get a thick 
card sleeve. For that. Right there. And there you go. All right. Next box. So we got our quad relic out of the way. So we have one more rock. Relic, and then two more autos left in the box. The only thing that's disappointing about that quad relic is it's basically all the same color. I love it when these all kind of have kind of, sort of a different piece. Those are the best ones to, to be able to grab. All right, here we go. Okay, Buster Posey, Jose Altuve, we got Joey Votto, and on the back, our copper parallel is Chris Bryant, and this feel, looks, feels like an auto, and it is, it is Seth Brown, rookie auto for the Oakland Athletics, it's actually numbered one out of 50, I think this is the green parallel. Go ahead and get that sleeved up. Okay, box three. I do like the archival autographs. I think they are some of the nicest looking, especially for like the horizontal autos. Normally I do like them vertical. I think they display a little better vertical, but the design this year, I think uh, Tops did a pretty good job. Okay, here we go. Okay, Brendan McKay, rookie. Matt Chapman. Aaron Judge. And the back copper is Bo Bichette. Very nice. And sleeve up the rookies. Especially when it's a rookie parallel. And this is, it's thick enough that it is, should be our relic auto. It is EJ. My guess is that is Eloy Jimenez. And boom, there you go. Eloy Jimenez, number 19 out of 50. It is a sticker auto, which... You know, it's unfortunate that they are sticker autos for the for the relics, but I can understand that. Still, you know, nice young player in Eloy Jimenez. I will absolutely take that, which means our last box should contain sort of our single or double or additional relic in it. Let's see what we get. Just put that Eloy right there. And let's see what we get. I should get a numbered uh, card in here too. George Springer, Ryan Sandberg, Babe Ruth. In the back, which is a purple out of 99, is Eloy Jimenez. Very nice.
And just so you know, that is number 95 out of 99. And our last relic, hopefully it is a chunky one. Oh, look at that. We got Yasmani Grandal. So we got a three auto box. I will never complain about a three auto box. And that is number, that's sort of like the base archival auto, which is numbered out of 299. This one is numbered 48 out of 299. Yeah, he played for the Brewers last year. Did really well. I would have liked to have seen them, you know, resign him, but you know, he got a pretty good, nice contract from uh, from the White Sox. So hopefully he has a good season, however much they get. So this is definitely kind of a, a bit of a White Sox box. We did get the Eloy Jimenez out of 99. He has Monty Grandall out of 299. Nice Eloy Jersey Auto. Out of numbered out of 50. Seth Brown, an eBay one of one, numbered one out of 50. The Andrew McCutcheon, which is out of 99, 51 out of 99. Quad Relic. And we got a Bobachette Copper and then the Kyle Lewis Base Rookie. So there you have it, folks. That's a box of. 2020 museum collection from tops go ahead hit that like button go ahead, leave a comment what do you think about museum collection do you get museum collection i know i like it um, it's sort of a nice mid to high end uh, range uh, product i think has in terms of like the jerseys and things like that generally do uh, the best job outside of some of the ultra high-end stuff like diamond icons and other other high-end products like that um feel free to leave a comment below go ahead hit that uh, subscribe button thank you for watching everybody continue to stay safe out there and i will see you later